All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, so the end of the quarterfinals finally just uh, ended, and uh, it was some really great games for sure. Um, but without any spoilers, I just want to get a quick spoiler warning. Obviously, um, I guess if you weren't, haven't watched Swiss already, then I guess this is spoilers for that as well. But I'm uh, just going to give you a quick spoiler warning. But yeah, let's go yeah, straight into knockouts. Um, obviously, all these teams advanced into the, the quarterfinals. And here is what happened. Let's go top to bottom here. So uh, Weibo, I believe, if I'm rem rem remembering correctly, sorry, uh, I predicted LNG to defeat Weibo because LNG had looked a lot better. But uh, Weibo came out swinging and um, both teams played well. But overall, Weibo just kind of surprised really well and they they played super good here as well um it was a good series and yeah Weibo ends up taking it and kind of being surprising a little bit I was I was kind of skeptical at first in the Swiss stage and such um I wasn't sure if they were good or not and they ended up uh only barely squeaking into uh getting into the quarterfinals but They've been powering up over time here, and I think they're going to be a pretty strong team overall. Um, the only problem is they will have to f defeat the winner of the next match, which was actually Billy Billy. Uh, BLG ended up uh, defeating Hanwha, the the first uh, seed from LCK, so the first two seeds. Obviously, the Billy Billy was the first seed from LPL, and Hanwha was the first seed from LCK. And uh, Billy Billy ended up taking the series 3 to 1. Um, Hanwha, I don't know. They kind of fell apart. I think. I think they, they've they've been having some struggles this uh, tournament, unfortunately. But um, they still put up a pretty good showing, and uh, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, Billy Billy, though, powering up because they actually were getting really close to being knocked out of the Swiss tournament, uh, Swiss stage of the tournament rather. And um, it's nice to see that they're bouncing back a little bit and getting a lot stronger because uh, taking a three-one game is pretty. 3-1 series is pretty good against the LCK number one seed, right? So, yeah. Um, they've done really good, and then BLG ends up uh, advancing, obviously, to semifinals with Weibo there, and then, of course, that is going to be it's going to be a team kill, unfortunately, LPL versus LPL. Um, and, yeah, Weibo versus BLG, so the number, I believe Billy's, Billy Billy is the number one seed, so should be number one versus number four, if this is three or four. I can't remember if they're three or four seed, but yeah, um, this is going to be a hard series. I'm going to predict, Ooh, I don't know, because Billy Billy's been faltering a lot. I would say them normally, but I don't know. Weibo feels like they're powering up a lot, so, but it's Billy Billy just defeated Hanwha as well. But maybe Han was was weak, so I don't I don't know what to do here, honestly, guys. Uh, this series could go either way, very easily. Um, uh, I want to say BL, BLG is gonna win, Billy Billy. Um, but I just don't know for sure, and I have no idea what the game score could be. You know what? Let's check out um the LPL playoffs real fast. Why don't we? Uh, let's see. Regional qualifier. No, no, no. Uh, Billy Billy. It would have to be. Can we go back a little bit? It only says regional qualifier. Okay, but. Yeah. Okay. Well. Anyways, I'm not sure. But. Uh. Anyways, let's go and go ahead and say BLG is gonna win this one. But I'm not sure to be honest. Uh. I can't remember who I predicted for the BLG versus Hanwha. To be honest with you guys, but I'll I'll put it in the the, the uh, description as always, and see if I got it right or wrong. Um. But yeah. Uh. Anyways, let's jump down to uh the lower bracket here. Well, not the lower bracket, just the bottom half of the bracket here of the quarterfinals and uh. Top Esports end up defeating, or not defeating, but going 0-3 uh, in game score to T1. So T1 ends up advancing, and T1 just kind of blows out Top Esports here. Um, obviously, T1 were looking pretty sketchy going into this tournament, but they've been doing really well ever since, pretty much. Um, they have been looking pretty strong, and it's kind of just their world's form. I don't know what's going on, but they uh, they always seem to turn it on, it seems, for Worlds. So, um, also, another thing I, would, I do want to note really fast uh, is that apparently T1 has never lost to a Chinese team in a best of five, and um, they also have never lost, have always, every time they go to Worlds, they've always gone to the semifinals, which I thought was kind of a crazy stat that someone put out there, but that is absolutely insane, and 
uh, yeah, I don't know. They're just they're built different. Uh, they've they've always made it out of the uh, groups or Swiss stage, I believe, as well. Obviously, because that's 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 what that means. They've always made it to semifinals at least. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, I don't know. They're powering up, and they could just take it all. I, I don't really know, to be honest, guys. Um, but yeah, they will advance to the semifinals, obviously, and then uh, Jin G versus FlyQuest uh, ends up being the 3-2 for FlyQuest, uh, but I do want to take a slightly deeper dive into this series, because it's, obviously it's North America, um, and this is our quarterfinal list, the one the one team from the West that made it out uh, to the quarterfinals, and it was from North America, of course, which is awesome. And they put such an amazing showing up. I'm, like, so proud of these guys. They're so awesome. And I'm so sad that they weren't able to take it. Uh, because if they had won one more game, they would have made history completely. Because it would have been the second team from North America to ever make it to, to semifinals, if I'm recalling correctly. Um, and they would have done it even in a more... Uh, convincing fashion against a, in my opinion, the the tournament favorite, also in FlyQuest's opinion, um, like the best team at the tournament, and I, in my opinion, at world at like this entire year, um, and of course at Worlds, obviously, but um, yeah, it would have been absolutely insane, and they were so close to doing it, a, quite a few different times, but um, Jinji ended up adapting super well in draft and kind of in the last half part of the series, the last half of the series basically, they ended up um, going pretty crazy in the draft and um, I don't know, it was it was a hard it was a hard series, but it was so inspiring to watch and I'm so excited for next year. I hope these teams stay together, uh, FlyQuest obviously, and I hope they uh, only get better. Obviously, sometimes these teams end up getting just worse, sadly, but I. I'm hopeful for this one, and this one was pretty crazy, honestly. I'm super excited to see this one, uh, this team next year, and I hope they stick together and keep on working and getting better. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, FlyQuest ended up going 1-0 one, uh, one in the series in the first game. They ended up taking the series, and that first game was super convincing. It was awesome to see, and um, I don't know. It was just really, really cool to see them take, go 1-0 and in versus a LCK like tournament favorite here. Like, that's crazy in, in, in itself, um, in and of itself. And then uh, Jinji ended up equalizing in the second game. They, they ended up taking the second game pretty pretty convincingly, unfortunately. Um, but FlyQuest did put up a pretty good fight for a little while there. Uh, it was just kind of like early stuff snowballing. That was kind of the, ser the story of the series, actually. Um, just kind of whoever got the earlier advantages usually won, but not always. Um, as long as it was in like 2 or 3K within 2 or 3k of gold uh, for each team. It was actually pretty pretty close. But yeah, um, FlyQuest uh, end up, so yeah, obviously Genji end up uh, equalizing the game, so it ends up being 1-1 one one there, so it just turns into a best of 3 at that point. And then FlyQuest end up taking the third game, actually, which is really awesome to see, and it was also very convincing. Um, so they just kind of like ran Genji uh, a couple different games here. And so that ends up being FlyQuest up 2-1 to one match point, which was so awesome to see. Like, that is... I, in my memory, that's never happened before. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe Cloud9 ended up do, doing it back when they made it to semifinals. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it was so cool to see. It was so cool. Um, and then, uh, unfortunately, Genji ended up taking game four. Um, I was kind of worried at that point. I was, at that point in the series, I was like, okay, we're up 2-1. It's not over yet. I kept saying that to myself. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Even during the games that we were, we were actually winning the first game and the, and the third game. Um, and I was really worried that Genji was going to, like, reverse sweep, kind of, um, in a way. And I was, I was really worried about that. So that's so what I was in the back of my mind the whole time. And uh, Genji ended up do end up taking game four. Um, sadly, it was pretty close, if I remember correctly, or maybe it was game five. No, no, I'm pretty sure game four was fairly close. And then we just ended up losing off of a couple team fights or something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, it, it was very close was in my rem remem in my memory. But maybe I'm remembering a different game. Um, and then that obviously means just one more game, the fifth game, uh, we went to Silver Scrapes, of course, was, of course, which was awesome, and then, um, uh, Genji just kind of got some early kills, and 
there was a very unfortunate like uh, misclicks, misplays from FlyQuest really early on, and that ended up snowballing the game pretty pretty well for Gen.G. And then on top of that, Gen.G. ended up picking some very strange picks. Um, not that strange, I guess, but um, they ended up going with some late scaling stuff, like Smolder and uh, Fritrovi, and then they put uh, Ziggs also on, uh, uh, was it Pays, right? Yeah, so that was unfortunate for sure. <laughs> um, and it ended up working out really well for them. Uh, and f if I recall correctly, I think Genji is undefeated on Ziggs, but I can't remember for sure. Um, but yeah, I was kind of worried when I saw that in draft. I was like, oh no, this could be really bad for us. Um, and I was like, no, 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 please, we can't just lose in the last game. That would be so sad. And it really was, was super sad to see. Uh, we did end up losing, of course. Um, they kind of outdrafted us a little bit um, and kind of like played with played with them, played with FlyQuest a little bit because they um, they wanted, obviously FlyQuest was trying to take away certain picks that they didn't want Jinji to be able to have. Um, so stuff like Leone, for instance, um, they didn't really want Chovy to have that, so they ended up having to pick it. And I don't think Quad is bad on Yone, but um, it was, this game ended up not being super great because it was kind of uninteractive un un with Chovy just stacking up on Smolder and farming and not really worrying about the fight that much. Um, so yeah, um, it was just unfortunate to see it for, for sure. But in the end, it was a really good showing from FlyQuest and I would all, I would say it's a very, if not the best showing from an NA team at Worlds, um, which I think it might be, it was, it's at least a close second. Um, so it was really awesome to see from FlyQuest, obviously, and yeah, unfortunately it does mean Jinji does move on. Um, so Jinji's going to be facing T1, another team kill, uh, in terms of regions, so like LCK versus LCK. Um, I don't know what to say about the series, because I do think, I've always been thinking Jinji is the best team at this tournament, in my opinion. And I do think they are still tournament favorites and go to win and very good chance of winning. But the thing is, it's T1. T1 is so crazy, and they just decide to like turn it on out of nowhere and just like be the best team out of nowhere. Uh, obviously, they won Worlds last year, and I don't think anyone was really expecting it, but kind of. Um, and I don't know. I always bet against them. Is the thing, but um. I don't know if I can do that again this year. I don't know, honestly. It's such a hard call to make. Because T1 could definitely win this, but also Jinji could definitely win this. And Jinji is usually, at least domestically, better than T1. But in Fire Mook correctly, I'm pretty sure T1's beaten Jinji multiple times um, outside of the region, like at tournaments, at, at World Championships, and stuff like that. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to say... Oh man, it's so hard. I'm gonna say T1 ends up taking Genji, which means it would be T1 versus Billy Billy, which I think T1 would win. Oh man, yeah, it's so hard to predict though. It's the, both of these are so hard to predict. I don't really know, guys. That's just, I'm just gonna have to throw out a pick there because I just don't know. Um, may maybe I'll change my mind in the coming days. Uh, I'm gonna be watching obviously the podcast as usual from all the the analysts and like you know people that do that like uh, and I'll I might change my mind from that. We'll see. But yeah, this is gonna be this is an awesome world so far and it's gonna be uh, some really good series for sure in the semifinals here. But yeah, without further ado, that's gonna be it for the um, predictions. Uh, I should probably go to my pickums real. Oh my gosh. Flashbang, sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, I do need to do my, my pickums here, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. Let me adjust this a little bit so you guys can see better. Uh, so yeah, on the 26th of October, we've got Weibo versus BLG happening. I, I do think BLG is going to win, but Weibo could, eat, could definitely take this series. Maybe not easily, but definitely could take this series. Um, also, like I said, I'm going to go with T1 here. Um, I do think Genji has a large, a very large chance of winning. But I don't know. I always bet against T1, and it usually bites me in the back. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to have to go with T1. I don't know, because Genji is so good. 
Um, and I don't want to say, I don't want people to think it's like because North America took took some games off of Genji that I think Genji are weak because I don't. I just, I think Genji are the strongest team out of these four. But I don't know. T1 just, I don't know. They just do something weird every 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 worlds, and they just turn it on so crazy. But I don't know. Genji could could win. Uh, could turn take T1 here, and then they could just win the whole same thing. Um, I do think whoever wins this LCK matchup is probably going to be the world champion. That's ship though. Uh, the world champion at the finals here. But yeah, that's what it's going to be the predictions here. Sorry, sorry for a little bit long episode, but yeah, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the seat. The what the the tournament so far and continue watching and definitely check back on the channel as soon as you can catch you later peace